So we're here today talking about fentanyl, what it is, the dangers of fentanyl, and what our community needs to know. So according to the DEA, um, they say that criminal drug networks are flooding the U.S. with deadly fentanyl. And they actually published a paper that said four out of ten prescription pills are laced with fentanyl. Now, I don't think they're talking about legitimate prescriptions. They're talking about prescription drugs you can buy off the street. So we're actually going to talk to some of our undercover narcotics officers here in a minute to see what they have to say. So for those who may not know, can you tell us what fentanyl actually is? Okay, fentanyl is a synthetic opiate that is 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine. Why are these dealers using fentanyl in the manufacturing of these illicit pills? So the reason why a lot of them do the uh, lacing, you know, or are using fentanyl to make these pills is because it's a lot cheaper um, and they're mixing it with heroin, cocaine, MDMA, uh, methamphetamine, methamphetamine, and they're using it to increase their profits. We talked about how these illegal pills or the illicit pills that people can buy off the street or off the internet, how they closely resemble the actual prescription. In your experience, how closely do they actually resemble a legitimate prescription? A lot of these pills are, are spot on. Uh, they're purchasing the dye sets also from China. They're shipped over majority of times through uh, fraudulent uh, shipping labels and, and boxes and, and identified as something else as a normal household product. and. They're using these presses and put out an identical or, or pretty close to identical pill other than some minute, de, you know, defects of the pill. So really the only way for someone to tell a legitimate prescription pill from an illegal pill that could possibly be laced with a lethal dose of fentanyl is to have it tested in a lab. Correct. All right. Well, we know that these pills are becoming more readily available in our area. Uh, we know that predominantly in the northern states, they've struggled with this for several years. Can you tell us what you're seeing in our area right now? So when we first started seeing it, it was around 2014. We had all actually attended a, a school in reference to training in how to identify it and to be ready for whenever we encountered it in scenes. Uh, shortly after that, we had a local deal done and purchased about six or seven kilos that was presented to our undercovers as cocaine. We ended up eventually testing all of, that, all of it and were told, you know, a couple weeks later from our labs that it was fentanyl. After that, it, it seemed to flood the area. Within months, we were getting it all over the place. And speaking of these labs, I, I know you and your team have been instrumental in shutting a lot of these labs down and actually serving warrants on these locations. Can you tell us a little bit about wh what do these labs look like? Majority of these guys are learning this stuff off the street or from their friends. So every lab that we've been into uh, you walk in and there's just fentanyl powder and dust everywhere. Physically going through there and really measuring the amount of fentanyl they're putting into each one of these pills. It's just tossed into a blender, ground up, and then used to be pressed. And really the most important part about this discussion is what advice you would give parents. What would you like our community to know, especially as our kids get ready to go back to school? We know that these illicit pills are being sold online, social media, off the street, in our schools. What do parents really need to know? The advice I'll give parents is to speak to your children, let them know that just because they're buying what they believe to be uh, prescription medications, they could be laced with uh, fentanyl and it only takes two milligrams to uh, cause an overdose. Now, when you say a two milligram dose of fentanyl could be lethal. Can you give us an idea of actually how much that is? That's about uh, two grains of sand. Thank you so much for that relevant information. We want everybody in our community to know if you're going to get a prescription filled, 
get it from a legitimate source. Get it from your doctor's office. Get it from a legitimate pharmacy. Don't buy prescription drugs from any individual online, social media, whatever the case may be. The dangers of fentanyl are real. Just based on what the DEA put out, four out of 10 of these prescription drugs you can buy off the street are laced with a lethal dose of fentanyl. That's scary in itself. We know these pills are readily available. We know it's very tempting. And we know a lot of these counterfeit pills that are being produced on the street, as our narcotics officers have said, they are being made to look very much like a real and legitimate prescription. It's not worth the risk. So to our community, to our parents, to our kids, get your prescription drugs from a legitimate source, from a doctor's office, from a pharmacy. Don't buy them from places you know you shouldn't be.